finished early and under budget. Those were two of the celebratory points touched on during the dam dedication today at Buckeye Lake State Park. Our Ohio State House newsroom reporter Jason Aubrey was there as the governor cut the ribbon, making the dedication official. They thought it would take five years or more. They thought it would cost $150 million. They were wrong on both counts. Governor Kasich says the decision to do this was an easy one to make. Three years ago, the Army Corps of Engineers said the 4.1 mile earthen dam at Buckeye Lake was on the verge of a catastrophic failure. After reading the Army Corps of Engineers report, he said there's only two things that can be done. There's only two options. You, you drain the lake and there's no lake, or we fix it. And one of those isn't a real option, and so we're going to fix the lake. Governor Kasich made his decision to fix the nearly 200-year-old dam at the cost of $150 million, and knowing businesses on the lake would suffer in the meantime. My limited uh, uh, experience in, in government, there are sometimes tough decisions that have to be made, and this was a tough one. But Kasich says, like supporting Medicaid expansion, the decision was easy. If you know a dam could break and many, many people would die and you decide to fix the dam, does that take political courage? I think it takes common sense. Completed nearly two years ahead of schedule and for $40 million less than expected, the dam now meets modern day safety standards and Kasich says it will preserve the lake as a destination spot all Ohioans can enjoy. This is a celebration for every single person that lives in this region and I think every single person in our state and ultimately a decision that people around the country should study. Figure out what's wrong, solve a problem, help the people, and it'll be nothing but blue skies ahead. And the construction of this dam should be sufficient for the next 100 years or more. In Licking County, Jason Aubrey, WKBN 27 First News.